You know, I want to give you one beautiful example that you will relate to. Many years ago, when I was much younger, we used to have certain cars. From among those cars, there was a Mercedes 300D. Wow, that was like the car of the time. They used to advertise this vehicle. And I remember going into, we, I didn't afford it or anything, but going into the Mercedes, you know, showroom and just to get the book, to look at it and say, hey, lovely, you know, it's your dream car, you know, the 300D. You know, people who are, who are very, should I say, short-sighted, they make a dua to say, oh Allah, oh Allah, you know, this car here, yeah Allah, you know, at least if I don't get in the dunya, then at least in Jannah, give me the car. Yeah. <laughs> young people, you ask them, young people, you ask them, so what would you like in Jannah? I know, my own son, one day he told me, I need a Bugatti in Jannah. And then I had to correct him. I asked the question because I want to correct him. I said, you know, Bugatti, by the time you grow old, you won't even want to see it. So today, if someone offered the same people who were making a dua at that time for a 300D, a 300D in the dunya, forget about the akhirah, they will say, I don't need it, I don't want it. Do you understand the point? So this is why we say Allah has kept the dunya such that when you run behind it, it runs faster than you. You will never be able to keep up with it.